name is Tommy Hatto. I'm an actor, a model and an author. How I got into acting, um, it's a crazy story really. I just left college. I remember moving from my small town in, back in England and moving to London to pursue journalism. We did a conference at London Film Festival and Dustin Hoffman was doing a press conference for his new movie there and we got to go meet him afterwards and he just said to me, hey you, you have a face for camera. Have you ever thought about going into acting? I was speechless, you know, I was like 16 at the time. The casting director approached me afterwards and then signed me up to play in a movie. And that's really how I got into acting. The process of getting the acting parts and going to the acting jobs day in, day out was tough. And you're going up against the likes of people who have gone to acting school, drama school. Each audition, even though I didn't get it, I faced a million no's, a hundred rejections, but each time just gave me a little bit more strength to keep going. Okay, so my latest movie is called The Last Full Measure. I still pinch myself that I get to be in a film, a part of an amazing ensemble cast, you know, Samuel L. Jackson, Christopher Plummer, Ed Harris, Jeremy Irvine. The movie really is just about the Vietnam War, a man called William Pitsenbargen who saved hundreds of lives back in the Vietnam War. This film depicts that journey for his fellow servicemen, trying to get him that posthumous Medal of Honor. So the role that I play is a part called Basile, and that's in a flashback to the actual Vietnam War times to show when he was younger and what he did. We shot the film in Thailand, uh, in the jungles in Thailand, uh, which was the craziest experience. And you're all in the jungle and you're learning your lines and you're doing your scenes and you're carrying guns and wearing helmets and this big army gear. It's, you're against the elements, you're fighting the mosquitoes, you're fighting the heat, the, the long grass. My dream role, I would love to depict somebody in a biographical film. I think it would be the most challenging, yet the most rewarding acting role that I would ever do. I'm writing a book. Um, it's, I want to call it a lifestyle book, kind of keeping your mind healthy, your body healthy and your soul. Um, and that all comes together. Uh, so the book really is a journey through from what I've experienced from being a kid eating very unhealthy food. Um, and then really going into this industry and doing modeling and being surrounded by people who eat very clean. In this day in society, a lot of my friends and people I know, they kind of underestimate themselves. And really this book is just something to, it's not to tell people what to do, but it's to remind people that we are great, you know, and there is no shame in saying, you know, I'm amazing. I feel amazing today. And really just going out and having adopting that attitude in more of a confident rather than arrogant way. And just being the best version of yourself. So I am half British and half Thai. Uh, my mother's from Thailand, my dad is from England. Um, in terms of affecting the work that I get, it definitely makes it harder. You don't see many um, ethnic minorities or people of Asian or half Asian uh, ethnicity portrayed on screen in America or in England. And if I can break down those barriers and bring more Asian actors and actresses to the forefront, or people of ethnic minorities in general, um, that would be great. I love Stockholm. You know, I, I've never been anywhere where it's been very snowy. Um, so I'm very excited that my first time in Stockholm and it has been snowing. Um, it's so beautiful. And the city, you know, it really has some great buildings and some great architecture. Swedish people are, are, are great, they're so friendly, and their English is probably better than mine. I would love to work with some Swedish people. You know, when you see Swedish actors in Hollywood at the moment, you know, when you have like Stellan Skarsgård, who I worked with on Thor, and Alicia Vikander, uh, you know, the talent here in Sweden is incomparable. If the opportunity came up to work with some Swedish artists or actors, I, you know, filmmakers, I'd fully take it on board. The advice I would give to other young people who wanted to go into the industry would be to never give up. One of the biggest pieces of advice that I was given was that only, only we know what we can achieve and I really believe that and I really pass that on to anybody who wants to go into whatever profession.